quite extraordinary. I've just been reading that the Guardian, the um, BBC, the Daily Mirror, the Independent, the I newspaper have all not been invited to accompany Suella Bravman on her trip to Rwanda, which is quite extraordinary. Her Cash for Humans scheme, as it's been called. Um, Braverman, uh, the chief executive of Freedom from Torture, described uh, her policy as cash for humans, by the way. Um, but uh, Braverman is jetting off on a showboat trip to Rwanda the very week that the Court of Appeal has accepted that there are serious questions to be answered over the legality of this government's cash for humans scheme. Following the outpouring of support for Gary Lineker and his compassionate stand on behalf of refugees, this government knows it is on the back foot and is once again ramping up the cruelty to distract from their own failures. Uh, Index on Censorship, uh, which works to defend the freedom of expression, has also criticised the um, exclusion of uh, these major newspapers, major news organisations. In fact, anybody who criticises Suella, Ra Suella Braverman is not allowed to be on her trip. Um, the, uh, the editor there, Martin Bright, has said, we are concerned to hear that journalists from organisations judged to be critical of the government's immigration policy have not been invited. Democracy depends on an open and transparent relationship between government and the media where all journalists are able to scrutinise the government. Um, and um, the Guardian and the media, uh, the, the, the Guardian News and Media Group have said, we are deeply concerned to learn that once again journalists from The Guardian and other news organisations appear to have been excluded from reporting on a taxpayer-funded trip to Rwanda to discuss a flagship government policy. Excluding journalists, it says, who provide scrutiny of key policies is not only damaging to press freedom, which the UK government claims to champion, but also... Uh, contravenes the government's own prop proprietary guidance on dealing impartially and even-handedly with members of the media. Uh, so uh, they have written to the Home Office Permanent Secretary to ask for an explanation of how this has happened, and a Home Office spokesperson has said, as always with ministerial tr visits, opportunities for media attendance will vary and is decided with consideration of capacity, a capacity presumably to accept uh, the... Um, uh, the slogans and the word invasion. Um, a range of outlets are covering the trip, including a newswire and different broadcast. It's not always possible to invite all outlets to all media opportunities. Uh, during her trip, uh, Suella is due to meet the president of Rwanda, um, Paul Kagame, to discuss the deal. Um, she says, uh, I'm visiting Rwanda this weekend to reinforce the government's commitment to the partnership as part of our plan to stop boats and discuss plans to operationalise, operationalise, is that a word? Operationalise our agreement shortly. Generally, when, you, uh, when, when you're trying to hide something, you use a longer word. So I think, you know, um, uh, uh, Suella Bravman's um, bizarre sesquipedalian tendencies here um, are to be um, criticised, uh, not, not only her policy, but her language. Um, and uh, she says that Rwanda could hold many thousands of migrants, although none have yet been relocated. The suggestion that Rwanda can only take 200 people is a completely false narrative peddled by critics who want to scrap the deal. Rwanda has the capacity to resettle many thousands of people and can quickly stand up accommodation once flights begin. Stand up accommodation, that's another expression which I think is not quite English. But then, you know, why should she bother with English when people are going to presumably have to learn another language when they get to Rwanda? Maybe she's starting that process already. Well, um... I, I'm not going to be one to uh, uh, to congratulate her on um, on her flight, and uh, but you know at this present moment, uh, I don't really care whether she returns or not. Um, I, th I I think um, it would be very wouldn't it be very ironic if Suella Bravman uh, was not able to return from Rwanda? But I fear she will be back, uh, standing at the dispatch box 
repeating her slogan and her catch word. It's not even a catch phrase. Invasion! I think it's getting slightly further afield from Maggie Smith as Miss Jean Brodie, but you know where I'm going, where I'm going with that one, don't you? Good night. <laughs>